Assalamu alaikum, Mahmoud and Hannah. Here's the answer to your question. This is a Google SketchUp model of our first solar hot water system on the Zabalin School in Chiat Nasser. And as we zoom in, we want to take a look at right angle for the solar panels so that we can prevent air bubbles from shutting down the system. What we want to do is angle the panels approximately one or two degrees. Right now, I'm showing an angling of five degrees. That's extreme, but it gives the idea that the hot water and the bubbles, because they're less dense, and cold water will want to rise. They have to have a place to go that is up. That's why we need to angle the panels. However, one or two degrees is sufficient. This is back to zero. And now we angle it one degree or two degrees, which we can easily do with a block of wood or something underneath the right side of the panel. And that will let the hot water thermosiphon effectively and purge any bubbles out of the system. Another thing we want to note to make sure that our system is working properly is the placement of the pipe inside the hot water barrel. I've removed the styrofoam insulation now so you can see both the cold and the hot water barrels. And now by making them transparent, you see the pipe that's coming from the bottom of the cold water barrel into the bottom of the hot water barrel. It's absolutely crucial that that hot water barrel have the cold water pipe going all the way to the bottom. That way the hot water from the panels can go in above the cold water and the cold water at the bottom of the hot water barrel can continue to thermosiphon through the solar panels. So those are the two most important adjustments that we can make to make sure our homemade solar hot water systems are working effectively. Hope that was easy to understand and I'll look forward to seeing you guys in Cairo in a few weeks. Thanks.